On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, we're playing Silly Celebrity Shenanigans. And I've been going demon mode on the lane again. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and silky mother, Lisa. Say hello, Mum. Silky. <laughs> I knew oh, you wouldn't like that. Sorry. I like how silky is nice. Silky. Deep down, I've. Sorry. Oh, silky. Dick Sil. Stop. Silky. Deep down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart. And in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. Silky. Tick- <laughs> what the <laughs> TikTok, social media, viral videos, celebrities. These are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around. Mm. So I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. Wow. So, if you're in need of advice from old silky chops, or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for me to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod, or send us a message or even a silky voice note. Stop. Sorry, I can't help it now. To WhatsApp on 07822. 013837. And no matter what the issue, I would ask her in a feature I like to call Mum, Can We Talk? I like to call it that as well. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can put that away. Well, how are you? I'm silky. Oh, silk. Oh, silky Lord. one. The silky one. Um, I'm. Silky spice. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, I'm okay. I've got a bit of a dodgy tummy. Dodgy tummy. You don't really need to know that. But mm. um, definitely eating something with gluten in it. So apologies to uh, our sound man who's going to listen to lots of <laughs> noises. Um, but apart from that, how jolly good. I'm loving autumn. Are you? Mm. I Why? am. I know you don't care for it. But I am loving autumn. I love the colours. I love the weather. I love colours. stomping. What do you mean the colours? Like grey. you've never heard of? No, grey. The colours of the leaves, oh, and yes. it's so lovely. All the lovely leaves I see in London. Well, there must be some leaves in London. Oh, I Not love a single it. Single leaf traipsing through London actually has the most green space of any city in the world well then you need to get out into that green space and see the colours which are now not green time for such things oh well you have to make time it's very good for you to get out into nature it's not really nature though is it why not well because you can hear cars and oh for heaven's sake there's like concrete paths do you be no, there are lots of hidden, lovely places in in London that you could go and... I mean, all those fantastic parks. Regent's Park's fantastic. It's beautiful. Do you think you could name 10 oh, London parks? Probably not. Regent's. Oh, here we go. Regent's Park. Hyde Park. Kensington Gardens Park. Just sure. Make that up. Um, Holland Park. Primrose Hill Park. That's not a park, but no. it's... Why have you got blood on your hand? Oh, that's not blood. good Oh, It's... Um... Signs of the cross. <laughs> no, it's... It's my... I got my multivitamin pill, on, like, rubbed off of my hand. <laughs> 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 That's it just... got wet and it and I held it and I see yeah and you just haven't well I didn't really know it, it was there I see honest. okay um, sorry I was stalling there um, you're at five I think six five. I'm at five I think I'm at five but that Primrose sorry Primrose Hill isn't a park but does it count yeah it counts as a green space yeah. um, Battersea Park Battersea Park Clapham Common no that doesn't count that's a common <laughs> don't laugh <laughs> um, 
It's not a park. Oh, right. It's green. It's a um, green space. What's the difference between a park and a common? Yes, exactly. No, Thank a common is small. Like a common's like no, the centre surely... of a like a like a vi- you know like a mm. park. All right, all right. Q. Clapham Common is bigger than St James's Park. Oh, that's another one. St James's Park. <laughs> Aha! What's that? Eight? Actually, St James's Park is lovely. Hampstead Heath. Hampstead Heath. But that's a heath. <laughs> yeah, but that's still, now you're just there's being a park facetious. in there. You see, if you took yourself up to Hampstead Heath, that sounds sort of dodgy. But if you went to if you went to Hampstead Heath on a day such as I today, go to Hampstead Heath in the summer. Well, go there in the no, autumn and traipse through the leaves. No. Kick, put your wellies on. No. And kick the leaves no. with your wellies and jump up and down no. in leaves. And it'll make you feel much better. I'm not better. four years old. Well, you should pretend to be four years old. No. I almost, I had to stop myself from doing a bit of The Hills Are Alive when I was, well, I actually really did. I was walking the dog up at Chorleywood House and there's a big, big field and it's on. It's right at the top of the valley and the sun was shining, there were leaves everywhere and Martha was gambling and I had to stop myself running up the hill and going, The Hills Are Alive. But I didn't do it. I just sort of went... Oh, this is nice. Wow. <laughs> you should have done it. I should have done and it. You should have done it I as a TikTok. I would have looked like a complete but well, I That's should have done That's what you got to start thinking like. I know. I do often think about it, but but then, you know. Never do it. It comes back to bite me, doesn't it? The fact that I don't actually know how to do it. Mm. I had an altercation Ooh. this week uh, with somebody in the lane. because The, the lane. The lane was. That fucking lane. That f- um, was once again um, congested and everyone was everywhere and I managed to get four cars in our drive to try and clear a bit of congestion and in the background there was just this man well I assumed it was a man there was just somebody just with their hand on a horn just like Mm. and I just thought that's got to stop (laughs) it's got to stop so I walked, stomped down the lane and it was dark as well. So it was not very nice out there. Mm. And and I just went over to him and I said, can you just, can you stop? And he said, no. <laughs> and I said, well, it, I said, it's, it's not helping, is it? I said, we're up here trying to move cars out of the way. Mm. And you constantly with your hand on the horn is really not helping. And he said, I can do what I like. I said, well... Okay, you can, but it's not help. I thought, I'm really going to try and be not rude. Not go demon mode. Not go demon mode. Exactly, Arthur. And I succeeded for quite some time. But then I ruined it at the end because he wouldn't stop. And then he started doing a little sort of tune with it. Wow. And I lost my temper and I smacked the car and told him. I won't say what I said. You smacked the car? I I actually wouldn't like that. Because I was so I was so incensed oh my God. that he was being such a knob, and I just went <laughs> and stomped off. And unfortunately, now he knows where I live. What did you say? I can't possibly tell you. Say it, and no, Jack will bleep it. Oh no, it was just a rude word with a U after it. It was an obvious, an obvious thing, oh. but it, but it was just such a shame because I then didn't have the upper hand because I'd lowered myself to his level and oh. he was pretty low he was pretty that, low I think this is back to back Karen stories we've had on the lane long. yeah oh, is it? on the lane but seriously why would you do that why would you think to just sit there going like that when people are you know trying to do their thing and he said I can I can sit here doing it until 11 o'clock at night legally I said oh <laughs> great excellent that's quite funny <laughs> It's not funny at all. That is funny. I think that was what made me yeah. lose my temper, actually, because I just thought, no, you're an utter knob end mm. and I've had enough of you now. Anyway. Wow. Oh. You're such a Karen. I'm not a Karen. You are. Look how angry you're getting. Why does that so, make so me Karen? Karen of you. It's not. What, just, I th- surely Karens are people who get nasty to other people for no apparent reason. I had a very good reason. For a man beeping in traffic? No, Arthur. God. That's not the case. No, you're twisting things now. How am I? Yes, sir. Beeping in traffic sounds exactly like what he was doing. (sighs) Anyway. Sort of. We've got a game. 
Oh, what did we do last time? Oh, we did the midweek movie midweek madness. Movie madness. That was fab. I enjoyed that. And now we've got silly celeb shenanigans. Shenanigans. Thank you, Mum. That's all right. Hell. I've no idea what the game silly is. Silly celeb shenanigans. That. With, oh, good Which is a similar game, I assume. I don't really know. Okay. I actually had a name for it already. But... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh! oh, hang on. Sorry, sorry, sorry Jack. Whoa. Sorry. We had a name for it. Oh, we've got a name for it. Yes. Oh, I well, like I'm going to leave in your name, though. Like, no, yeah, no, of course. <laughs> yeah. What? What is it called? What's really? the name, Jack? Come on, Jack. The name of the game is called Blind Celebrity Top Trumps. <laughs> that rolls wow. off the tongue. Yeah. yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> Sorry, it's no silly celebrity yeah. shenanigans. Mm. Blind Celebrity Top Trumps. Trumps. But that kind of explains what it is. So before today's record, I asked you both to write a list of five celebrities. Yes. Just any celebrities. And that was all I told you. So yes. have you both got them with you? Yes. We do. Okay. And you haven't shared them with either of each other? No. No. Great. So Don't look. the game is, are you familiar with Top Trumps? Yes. Do you no. remember that as a kid? Is you're not a, familiar with Top Trumps. Well, I remember you playing it. I can't remember what you do. There's going to be five rounds and I'm going right. to give you a category. Yeah. And you have to take it in turns each time to say which celebrity you think best suits the category. Okay. So, right. for example, it could be tallest. And I'd say the category is tallest. And Lisa, you would pick one of your celebs. I'll will pick one. And whoever wins, wins that point. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. But okay. We're not trying to guess each other's No, ones. no, no. You're no. trying to win. But one of the rules is that whoever wins that round gets to steal that celebrity and use it for their pile for the next round. Oh, so, for example, oh God. Lisa, you said uh, Michael Jordan. Arthur, you said Danny DeVito. Right. Lisa would win. That means you get Danny DeVito. I get Danny. And it means you have an extra celebrity to use for the next right. round. And so Arthur would only have four. Oh. Uh, you wow. would have six, but you can't use the same celebrity again. So you can't use Michael you Jordan again. You can't use Michael Jordan example. again. Yeah. So we're happy with the rules? Yeah, sort of. Okay, <laughs> great. So the first category is most TikTok followers. Okay. Uh, Lisa, you can go first on this occasion. KSI. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> um. I knew I put him in there for a reason. Megan the Stallion. Who? Megan the Stallion. Is that a person or a horse? <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be a famous it's a horse. TikTok it's horse. horse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's quite close. Is it? It's quite close. And the winner with the most TikTok followers of 15.5 million. God. Is Megan the Stallion? Yes, oh, damn come blast. on. So, who is that person? Um, she's like a famous horse. <laughs> um, yeah, she, no, she, it's like one of the horses that was in the Olympics, and they've won the most, like, the most decorated horse, basically. No, it's not. Okay, who is she really? Um, she's a rapper. Oh, what a surprise! Okay. You, were, you were close, Lisa. Twelve point one million was KSI. Mm. Excellent. So, after you now have KSI, oh, yes. okay. teams. you have KSI. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Uh, and Lisa, you're only left with your four now. Yes. I'm going to win again. <laughs> okay, the next category, and this is more like about vibe and how I interpret it. Oh, okay. So oh. who would make the best dinner guest oh, at your dinner yes. table? I'm going with Graham Norton. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, because he'd have... Excellent gossip for pretty much any celebrity ever. He's a fun time. Um, very chatty. He's a chatty man. That's Alan Carr. Sorry. You know what I mean, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Lisa, yours? I'd go with Billy Connolly. Okay. Because Billy Connolly is also an extremely amusing and chatty man. Um and he's not just funny, he's also a brilliant actor. He's got lots of interesting things to talk about. He is dying, though. You can't say that. Well, that, no, You can't say a... that, you'll get cancelled. No, I won't. That can stay in. Can I'm it? just saying, like, he might I not know, be that he'll well be at the more... moment. No, but he'd be... No, he'll just be brilliant, no matter if he's on his deathbed, he'll still be funny and interesting. 
I think he's a marvel. Mm. But I know Jack's going to go with Graham Norton. No, no, you can't say that. I can. Both, both two good arguments. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go with Billy though because I feel because <laughs> you prefer. Can you feel mine. sorry for me? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I no, I think that um, you know he would have a lot of jokes and there's you know yeah. that would be a less he's an icon less likely he? to happen in real life. So I think that'd be more. You'd have to take that opportunity. If it I think you're you. totally wrong. Well, you're not the games master. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Okay. So I've now got Graham as well. I've got to try. Adam, and who that. would you have had? Fuck it. Yes. Yes. Uh, Great. Okay. Round three. It's one mm. all. I want you to tell me which celebrity you have that you think has the most awards. Oh. So, Lisa, your celeb first, please. I'm going to go with Maggie Smith. Okay. Um, Andy Murray. Hmm. Both two good answers, but I think it's quite clear from a quick Google. Andy Murray seems to have had, well, BBC Sports Person of the Year three times, World Sport oh. Award in 2013, Young Sports Young Sports Personality of the Year in 2004. Oh, okay. Um, credit to, Olymp- credit to Maggie. <laughs> um, credit to Roger. <laughs> but you didn't, didn't hear what I said. Maggie... Maggie Smith has hundreds. Oh! Academy Awards, BAFTA Awards, Screen Actors Guild Awards, Primetime Emmy Awards, BAFTA, Tony Awards, multiple Primetime Screen Actors Guild Award. There's there's a Maggie, huge list. Maggie! Huge list. Shakespeare Prize, Laurence yes. Olivier Award, Golden Globes. So Maggie Smith gets the oh, point. Oh! So you awful. now have Andy Murray too in your, in your I have pile. Andy Murray and I have... Graham Norton, as well as all two these. one to Lisa. How are you feeling about Arthur? <laughs> He's not happy. I don't, is he? I don't think this is a fair game. <laughs> he never liked that. Lose. Was quite black and white. I feel. Uh, yeah, according to you, yeah. <laughs> okay, round four. Mm. Which of your celebrities do you think has the most siblings? Oh, good grief! Arthur to go first. Oh. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Arthur. So I'm going to go with Graham Norton. I'm hoping Abraham Lincoln just has like eight sisters or something. According to Google, Graham Norton has one older sister. Oh. And it looks like Abraham Lincoln... Was an only one child. sister as well. Oh, oh it's a draw. Yeah, so that's a draw. <sighs> so it's it's three Ooh. three two. Going into the last round. <laughs> so if Arthur gets this, we'll go for a tie break. So for the fifth category, who of your celebrities would make the best lover? <sighs> oh. Ooh. And it's uh, Lisa to go first, I think. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, Daniel Craig. Why? Oh, let me think. <laughs> oh, because he's gorgeous. Particularly gorgeous at the moment, I'm thinking, since he's, you know, I mean, he was lovely as Bonds, but now he's all long-haired and a bit rough bonds. around the edges. Pardon? What? You said Bonds, not Bond. Did I? Yeah. I did not. Did I? Rewind. Yeah. No, <laughs> okay. Did. Okay, well, he was lovely as Bond, um, obviously, in his little pink mm. shorts. But I think he's particularly fetching now um, because he's, yeah, kind of just a bit a bit rougher. Okay. And he's a bloody good actor, apart from anything else. Arthur? Um, Don't so say Abraham Lincoln. Both of these are fucking rubbish. You win. I don't care. Oh, now Stupid don't get str- Oh, you see, this is what he was like as a little boy. Throw your cards on the floor. There's a lot to be said floor. about how you how you justify your reason. So if you actually yes. put the effort in, yes, come on, Arthur, <sighs> well, try Chris MD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you okay, are. Why would he be a good lover? Why would he be a good lover? Um, Not necessarily yours, but of somebody's. Because um, he's. Caring and, <laughs> you know, 
I've seen it and it's huge. Arthur. Massive dick. Chris MD. Chris Massive Dick, yeah. Yeah, that's a perfect um, answer. And he's cute and he's got a funny laugh. Yeah. I'm doing all the work. And he's younger you. than Daniel Craig. Yeah. So his stamina's probably better. Oh, okay. I doubt it. I've made my decision. Mm. Um, and I'm going to say Arthur won that one because he was the only one that brought emotion into it. And I didn't say, I said the best lover. And I think being caring is a valid. <laughs> you a valid, absolutely. Um, yeah, <laughs> Come on. You talked all about looks and that was it. And it's more yes, than I just did. that. <laughs> I also said he was a talented actor. And that's got no, nothing to do with it. He not, so he can so, pretend yeah, how he's enjoying yeah, it. I've wow. never met him. He had an, adva an unfair advantage. He knows his Well, I played celebrity. the game. I played the game. He played well. the game. Yeah. We had to help you. Now I'm going to be a sore loser. So, okay. Huh. Three it's all, all tied up. Tiebreaker. Okay, this right. This one will have a clear cut. Yes. It's too bloody enough. right. Um, so, you Arthur, anymore. you have Daniel Craig now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, who of your celebrities is worth the most in monetary terms? <laughs> <laughs> so, Arthur, you're going oh. first. KSI. Oh. That's not fair. I Surely. gave him to you. Okay. And Lisa? Yeah, no, I mean, KSI is the damn right winner, isn't he? So you've got, who have you got left? You've got, you've got Andy Murray. I've got Andy Murray, Graham Norton. As it's the last round, I think you can just reveal who you've got just to... Freddie Flintoff. Uh-huh. Don't be rude. I've used all the others. Andy Murray, I think. I think that was probably the best, the best choice out of the but ones you had. KSI is going to... I'm a not loser. A, I am not a loser. A loser. He was mine. KSI was mine. Well, he's mine him. now. And you stole yours him. has worked out awfully for you. Although, producer Jack is looking it up. There's no way Andy Murray is richer. So it says here KSI in 2024 has an estimated net worth of $27 million. And according to this, uh, Andy. Total net worth is estimated to be in the region of 130 no, million pounds. No, no, KSI is a billionaire. <laughs> not according to that, it's not. He. I mean, there's just an article here about how, like, like total maybe 33.8 million pounds. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so at least the winner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> He's so pissed off. All right, there are. I don't like this one. <laughs> He's now Googling to see if he is. He, is. he doesn't believe you. What? I mean, from what I could see, it wasn't even close. No, exactly. Honest, so. No, take Chris, I revealed he's basically a billionaire. No, well, he's lying. Has a net worth of 100 million, according to Celebrity Net Worths. Mm, that's still not as much no. as Andy. Yeah. Andy's no, got more. you're Andy's not taking more. Prime into account. Prime is worth... Prime is worth 3.1 billion to 8.4 billion. If KSI owns 20% equity, then he's worth 620 million. I won't take this loss. No, I Arthur. will not take this loss. Arthur, we have to take what producer Jack says. No. He's our boss. I'm I'm going on a lot of a lot here, and there is a there is a there is a, a wide variety. He earned twenty three point nine million in twenty twenty three. Apparently, whether, but I think the the distinction here is that whether Prime is worth that much, he's not cashed that out, and that fluctuates. So, in his in his bank account, I think it's making it seem that Andy Murray has more, you know, yes, assets. exactly. And at the end of the day, I had him first. So you just, there's, it's all stacked against but you. I had fucking Andy Murray, so... Oh, that's that... true. Anyway, Never good mind. game's a quick game. <laughs> good game, good well game. Well done, Mum. Thank you, Arthur. You there, that's a nice... The win. There's a good boy. That's what you should do. Be a nice loser. Let's play a game you fucking suck at now, shall we? <laughs> yes, let's. <laughs> It's the nation's favourite. Yes, it is. Because they did love I... to see you lose. I think I got it right last time. You did, yeah. I did, well done. I? 
Yes, well then. For the third time in a year. Yeah, well. Hmm. Are you ready for two <laughs> lies and the truth? Yes. Okay, the question. An airport in New Zealand has started to enforce a new rule which has caused uproar online. But what is the new rule? Oh. A, limiting hugs to departing family members to a maximum of three minutes. <laughs> B, implementing fines to anyone who claps when the plane lands to any flights landing in New Zealand. C, refusing entry to anyone attempting to enter the airport wearing Lord of the Rings fancy dress. <laughs> oh my Lord, they're ridiculous. I love those. Well done, Jack. Well. Time for a piece of cake, I think. Battenberg. Oh, I used to love a bit of Battenberg. Mm. I haven't had a piece of Battenberg for many a year. God, well, I'll buy you one on your break. They're not gluten free. As a congratulation for your win. Thank you. Which I will be appealing officially. <laughs> <laughs> See you in short shorts. See you in shorts. See you in shorts. Yeah, okay. It's mummy's boy. Welcome back. Before Thanks. the break, we were playing Two Lies in the Truth. Yes. Here is a reminder of the question. An airport in New Zealand has started to enforce a new rule which has caused uproar online. But what is the new rule? A, limiting hugs to departing family members to a maximum of three minutes. B, implementing fines to anyone who claps when the plane lands to any flights landing in New Zealand. C, refusing entry to anyone attempting to enter the airport wearing Lord of the Rings fancy dress. Mother, what do you think the answer is? But they're all very, very silly. Oh, aren't they just? Yes, they are. Isn't the world just silly? Yes, Isn't Arthur. it just so silly out Isn't there? Isn't it? And aren't we, aren't we glad that it mm. is? Um, uh, uh, okay, so hugging. You can't tell people they can't hug for a certain amount of time. Mm. It's ridiculous. Um, clapping when the plane lands. I don't see why that would upset anyone. It upsets me. Does it? Yes, yeah, cringy as hell. Do the job. I think it's Lord of the Rings. And the reason I think it's Lord of the Rings, stupid though it may seem, is that maybe if you're wearing a Lord of the Rings outfit, you've got like weaponry on you. Mm. And they might think of that as being something mm. that is, you know, not good for getting through security. Okay. That's my only thought. Well, you're going to tell me I'm your wrong, logic right? is truly astounding sometimes. Yeah. The answer is A. <laughs> oh, but what? Mm -hmm. Stop it. They're no. limiting hugs. How? Why? Well, I'll tell you. Go on then. Emotional farewells are a common sight at airports, but travellers leaving the New Zealand city of Dunedin. Dunedin? Like Dunedin, is that how you say it? No, I had no idea. Dune Din. Dunedin, I think it's Dunedin. Dunedin. We'll have to be quick. A new three-minute time limit on goodbye hugs in the airport's drop-off area is intended to prevent lingering cuddles from causing traffic jams. Ah. Oh. Max hug time, three minutes. What's he got to do with it? <laughs> Warn signs outside the terminal, <laughs> adding that those seeking fonder farewells should head to the airport's parking lot instead. Ah, oh, well, okay. So, Jack, if you'd put mm. at the drop-off, I'd have got that. You see, it's, it's not meant to be easy. No, mm. I realise that. <laughs> the cuddle cap was imposed in September to keep cuddle things cap. moving smoothly in the redesigned passenger drop-off area outside oh. the airport. Wow. Darn it. Three I wonder if they have still have to pay f a fiver. We have to pay a fiver to drop somebody off at Heathrow just to drop them off. That's outrageous. Daylight robbery. Well, it is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, speaking of robbery. What? I saw, and I actually <gasps> tried to prevent. Oh, did you? Because now I'm so paranoid about phone theft yes. in King's Cross last night. Yes. And I immediately saw two bike oh. thieves. Did you? Come onto the pavement. And I was like, they're going to try and nick your fucking phone. Did you? It's so obvious. Really? And then they like zoomed off and this guy on the other side was like with his girlfriend and they just like stopped and took it and drove off. So it didn't help. Oh. It's crazy. It's so bad at the moment. That's why I wear mine close to my body and I don't walk about mm. with it out. He like properly tried to chase after them as well, bless him. Did he? Yeah. Oh. Oh, people are horrible. I know. Why can't we just hug for three minutes? For three minutes. Mm. Yeah. You see, no. love actually is all around. <laughs> when I get sad about the state of the world... 
I tend to think about the arrivals gate at Heathrow Airport. Oh, yes. As far as I'm aware, when those two planes were hitting the Twin Towers, the, those last messages weren't of hate or something else. They were of love. Love. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I do love Hugh Grant. Mm. He's in a new horror movie. Is he? Yeah. He, in, he answered a question in true Hugh Grant style. Oh, yes. He was like... Yes. Shall, have you... This is quite an intense role. Have you struggled to, you know, switch off? <laughs> He's like, yes. Yes, I um, murdered three people this afternoon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh we what love a boy. him. Oh, we love we him. We love him. Right. Oh. I um, I think we should do um, some Mum Can We Talk correspondence. All right. Thank you. Um, shall we dive in? Yes. Question one from Anon. Oh, for heaven's sake. I thought you were going to give me funny names mm. forever. Hey, Arthur and Lisa. I watched the pod and I listened... Pob? Pob! Poppity pob. Hey, Arthur and Lisa. I watched the pod and I listened to Arthur's music a lot. I'm oh. 15 and started singing at my singing school when I was four. I tried to post as much as I can of my music and other co covers on social media. I was just wondering if you had any tips since you're such a good artist. P.S. Oh. Love the pod and your new song. Oh. Thank you, Anon. Oh. Tips. Tips. I would say just keep posting. Keep posting songs you like, mm. and one of them will eventually do Be well. Be the one. I've said it before. I'll say it again. You're one video away from your life changing forever. And if you've got the talent and you've got the work ethic, you're going to be a star, a pop star. Oh, God, I can't bear it. God. That was Louis Walsh. Oh, was it? Well, I don't care who it was. I was giving advice. <laughs> no, not like that. Because it's not true, is it? What? Oh, God, sorry. I've gone all Karen again. <laughs> What's not true? Well, it's not true. Not what? everyone who's got talent and work ethic becomes a star. It's not true. Otherwise, we'd have gazillions of them, wouldn't we? Oh, why are you laughing? <laughs> what have I done? God. I just I hate all that schmaltzy stuff. Yeah, what would your advice be? Well, the same sort of thing, but I don't. you don't need... Be quiet! <laughs> you don't need the... And you'll be a star at the mm. end. You might work. There you are. That. Jesus. <laughs> well, because otherwise you're selling a dream and it's it's not. But that's it's half a, of it. It's, it's all the dream. Everything's no, about the dream. No, it's not. What do you mean? All we have is dreams. Oh, for heaven's sake, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry, Anon, for my mum's horrible, horrible view on that. I not Especially a... having a son that's so d achieving his dreams, you know? How can yes, you say such a thing? But I d Every day you told me you're going to be a star. No, I bloody did Before didn't. you whipped me and made me dance <laughs> for three hours in the basement. <laughs> And starved yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I most certainly do but not. But ignore her, Anon. You keep going. Yes, you keep going, Anon, and do your and thing. And maybe you'll be and a star. And maybe one That'll day be... you'll work. Oh, my God. In the entertainment industry. Yeah, just don't let mum be your agent. No. She's fucking rubbish at that. Yeah. I was quite good at that, actually. Yeah. Were well, you? Yeah. That's why you're doing a podcast yeah, I was. with me. Is that what you said pep, pep talk, them? <laughs> no, because I was honest with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and look where it got you, on a podcast with me. Yeah, right. Okay, question two from Joy. Oh, mum's probably going to take this away. <laughs> right. Hi, Lisa and Arthur. Hope you're both doing well. Some advice needed. I got broken up with after three years. Oh, oh. sorry, Joy. It was a very abrupt breakup, and it has made me think about the future a lot. I'm 20 years old and looking at how acceptable an age gap would be. I think 24 to 25 is a good age and maybe I'd actually get together with a proper man this time. <laughs> as Arthur is 25, I want to see his perspective on dating someone as young as 20. And if he doesn't mind it, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> also, just any advice in general for getting yourself back out there after a breakup? Oh. oh. Um, 20. We've had this conversation before, We have before, had this conversation. Haven't we? And you've always said, no, it's too young. I think 20 is, yeah, is... is Slightly too young, personally. 
but only because it's 20. I don't think, I don't think at a certain age, like four years is fine, five years. So why? That doesn't make sense. Well, because you like, you just put like, I'd say after 25, it sort of doesn't matter. But like I'm 29 thinking... and 25, that's fine. Yes, exactly. But why? 29, 34, also fine. I'd also say 25 and 32 is more than fine as well. Um, but something you want to tell me? No. <laughs> but um, so you wouldn't date anyone younger than you at the moment? I would, just not that that much younger. Even like, hmm. I'd say 21 if they don't seem 21. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? And but most like... girls of 20 or 21 are probably going to be more mature than a chap of 24 or 25. Mm. Yes, it's quite likely. No, I don't know yes. about that. I don't know about that. I just think it's a shame that she's... So she's broken up... How old is she? She's 20. So she was with that chap since she was 17. Mm. So that's a long time to have spent with somebody. And, you know, you just need to get back out there and have some fun. Yeah. You know. Get yourself just, on Hinge. No, don't get yourself on Hinge. That's what getting out there is now. No, it isn't. Go, go to a nice club. <laughs> there aren't clubs anymore. <laughs> there must be... Oh, there must be somewhere. Where do people go? Go and... On to Hinge. No, well, oh, it's all... Oh. 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 No, there must be a way where you can meet people face to face. Mm. There must be. Yeah. Isn't there? Go if to you're a nice talented disco and, and you work hard, your handbag. maybe it'll work out for you as a girlfriend. Um, but I'm sorry, you are just too young for me. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know. How young would you go, Mum? If you were single? <laughs> um, That's a fair question. I can't even get my head I around the you, thought of it. I feel like, didn't you? You used to like the, an older man, didn't you, before father? Before my father? Um, well... Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did actually. Mm. Mm. Quite a bit older, in fact. Mm. Care to so. say the the age difference, just for the sake of study? Well, I went out with when I was twenty four. I went out with a man who was forty two. We were hell. our ages <laughs> swapped, and um, it was lovely. <laughs> it was great. God. Well, there you go. You asked. Yeah. But luckily, I will never have to go through that again. No. So, so Joy, give 42-year-olds a go. Yeah. Yeah. You see? See what happens. Why not? Okay. Question three. Yes. From Ella. Hey, Lisa and Arthur. Since you have both worked in the entertainment music industry, uh-oh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you what you think makes a good or bad manager. I'm going to uni to study oh. music management and part of what pushed oh. me to actually go for it is seeing what a good relationship Arthur and Miriam seem to have. Oh. Is there anything you or her did that helped you form that bond or do you secretly hate each other? I don't know. <laughs> Love you both. Keep serving <laughs> as always. Oh, I haven't heard that for a while. Yeah. Oh. Yes, Miriam is my manager. Um, and She's lovely. She's great. She's also my bestie. Um, so that helps. I think you just need someone mm. who you get along with. Um, it doesn't really feel like work with Miriam. Um, and, but I, you also have to respect each other and, you know, I respect her decisions and everything like that. Um, so it's about striking that balance, really, I would say. Mm. Um, but I would be awful if it was the other way around. I, I don't really have advice on how to be a good manager. Trust and honesty are... Mm. very very important yeah you know and being straightforward yeah. and that's why i say about the whole you know why i hate all that schmaltzy stuff is that when i was a an agent not a manager there's no point in building somebody up to think you know you've got an audition and you're bound to get it darling when there are 300 other people and actually you probably won't get it you know you've just got to, you've got to do your best and blah 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 and but yeah you know, be straightforward don't be too schmaltzy. That's what I think. Mm. Another downer from mum. But I'm sure you'll be a great manager, Ella. 
I didn't know there was a music management course. Nor did That's I. cool. There That'll you go. be fun. Do you get to manage like pop stars during the course? I wonder. I wonder how they do it. Mm. Interesting. Harry Styles comes in, you get to manage him. I think that was unlikely. You never know. Mm. Well, that's it. Is it? If you haven't noticed, <laughs> oh. we are taking a break from releasing bonus episodes. Oh, Lord, yes. Whilst I'm on tour. Yes. I'm very sorry. It would be too much to squeeze in. Squeeze. I'm, squeeze in. And squeeze in. And I must look after my precious, precious voice, my valuable, gorgeous, silky, actually. Let's bring it back. Silky voice. Silky. Um, and I don't want to spend it yapping to this <laughs> miserable cow. <gasps> oh, my God. That is so unfair. Um, and I could have just done it on my own, but nobody asked. I'm only joking. But I'd love to hear a mum solo episode. Own, but I'm just saying, I feel really bad about that it. That would be a great... M no, it really mom. wouldn't. What, just me, do your diaries. Me just yeah. on my own. Uh, just a te little ten minute. <laughs> just a little ten minute. No. I say we do that. <laughs> oh, do you now? I think you, you should do a little ten minute solo episode. Just get on with it. It would be like um, that thing you did in lockdown. You know, where you were determined to be a children. Take your pardon. Excuse you. Children's reader. Well, I just read children's stories. Yeah. I don't think people want to hear that. Although Frog and Toad was very good, wasn't it? Yeah, I, like I think you should just read Frog and, Frog and Toad as a Should I read episode. Frog and Toad? No! Frog! Wow, if you guys want 15 minutes of that, smack the like button. He was lovely, Mr Toad. Everybody comment, solo, <laughs> solo mum yes, bonus right. episode, you, please. Arthur. And we'll get it done. Um, always remember, new episodes drop every Wednesday. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for me and mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or message us or even send a voice note on WhatsApp on 07... <laughs> Eight. Double two. O one three eight three seven. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her. Well, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from her. It's mommy's boy.